So let's have a look at how those tones have come about. We'll look at the, the breaking clean first. Now, this is one of my real gripes with the PodFarm software. It always defaults back to uh, the base folder for it when you're where your tones are kept. It doesn't remember the last folder location you're at. So just, just keep that in mind. Or we'll go back to it. We'll go to my in-progress songs. Okay, so the first one we'll have a look at is the breaking clean. So again, we've got another sort of voxish style amp and a Fender Twin sort of amp going as well. Uh, let's have a look at the settings on those. So there's the uh, 64 Lux model. It's actually quite got a bit of drive, a fair bit of low end there. It's a little bit scooped, um, not a huge amount of presence and got it really cranked up. And if we have a look at the mic, I've actually added a bit of room on this one. So again, it just is what, what works. Normally I'd close mic it, but I wanted this one to be a bit more airy and, and open using the condenser. If we go back over here to the other amp, the brick gain. Um, actually looks like it's more of a, a Marshall combo, I should say. Um, lot, much less drive, more of the high end, lots of presence for the high end. Let me have a look at the cab. You see, I brought that one right in, gave it a little tiny bit of room, and the 57 SM57 mic off axis, the two sounds together, we end up with this. Okay, so the other tone that we're hearing there is the chorus clean tail. So let's open this up and just bear with me while I go through the entire process again. Clean tail. Okay, you see there's lots of effects. This was based off a, a standard tone that came in the pod farm, um, which I then turned into a dual rig and modified. So I've actually turned some of the effects off because they're a bit much. You see, I've turned the, the reverb off um, I said I'd try to keep do it all in the post processing. You can always add reverb. You can't take it away when it's done through a method like this. So you see this amp, lots of lots of drive, um, more leaning towards the higher end. We go down again. The, the uh, this is definitely based off the Fender Twin, the double verb. Um, let's be honest, it's called spade to spade. It's a twin. Um, much more drive on this to really break it up. Um, so that's the main sound that we've got going through there. The twin here it tends to have a much longer tail on it, and, it's a, and that's where I get that that name from that I've named it. So there's the clean tail. So that tone, when we put all that together, we end up getting this sound. Okay, and again, just so you can hear the two of them together, how they sound. Okay, there we go. Now those two tones again we'll use in this section here. Now this is just the lead in heading into really the first chorus. Now, if we have a listen to the whole lot, you'll hear how they come in and how they sound, and then I'll play them and solo them out for you. Can you take my hand? You can take my breath. Can you take my hand? You can take my breath. Okay. So these are the same tones that I've used down here. But I've done a couple of little things in the processing of them just to, to make them sound a little bit more washy and a bit more sort of, uh, I guess, atmospheric. So let's have a listen to them by themselves. Straight up, you can hear there's a lot of reverb on those parts. Uh, there's a couple of extra little things I've done here as well. So we'll bring up the guitars. 
playing here they are now normally when i'm mixing in my guitars i'll usually have one hard left hard right if i'm going to add a reverb i'll use a, a stereo reverb to, to fill out the sound but i little went, went a little bit over the top with these ones and i really quite quite like the way that it turned out so the reverb is we'll see here um guitar verb okay so it's just going through to a, a reverb as a send effect so we've got this track here and this track here are the two guitars and here's my send effect here with a little bit of automation that's used later on um, and then if we go back through and have a look in the rack so if we have a look at the rack you can see i've split the audio and i'm running it through a delay now i've probably done this to be honest a bit of an ass about way but again it works it's the first way that i put it together i liked it i wasn't going to go back and fix it up to a more proper way of doing things um, the mono signal comes out into the spider and then it gets split from here the original signal goes back to one of the channels in this case on this track it's going to the left channel the other signal then gets sent through to this delay which is a very very short delay um, and then the output is actually the right output going into the right what I've done down here, because this guitar is panned on the other side of the mix, when I've got the signal coming out, the mono signal, it goes through to the right, and out of the delay, we've got the left. So what that ends up doing is the delay from the left guitar shows up in the right channel, and the delay from the right uh, guitar shows up in the left channel. That really does fill out the sound, and then with the added reverb on top of it again, you get that really nice sort of washy sound so if we flick it back around and you have a listen again to that part you'll hear what what we're talking about and i'll just do them one at a time so you can get an idea of how that mix with the delays work <laughs> it, it's it's quite subtle but you kind of get this the delay and the reverb put together you get a slight movement of the sound going from the left channel into the right um, and then if we have a listen to the other one you'll hear it does it in the exact opposite it'll go the other way it'll kind of hear it in the right first and then it sort of washes over into the left <laughs> we put both of them together we get this really nice washed out guitar expansive sound So there we go. That's basically it for the guitars in this song. Um, the only other thing to really mention about is to do with some automation, which when I get onto the, the mixing section of this series of videos, I'll go into and show you the little things that I've done in the mix. But that's it for the guitars. Next up, we're going to have the vocals.